Is it possible to restore the damage that people have done to nature? The climate emergency necessitates it, and, in fact, it is one of the goals pursued by regenerative design, the movement that seeks to restore the damage done to nature and find a new way of relating to it, where the built environment leads to a co-evolution of humanity. Regenerative design is, I think, the only way to sustain ourselves. So it is maybe not completely different from sustainability or even resilience, as many people um, uh, use. But regenerative design is that you are giving more back than you're taking out of the system. So imagine that you are using a lot of water without giving and returning water back to the natural system. Then you are draining the whole system. And in the end, people, animals, the ecology cannot survive without that. So regenerative culture and regenerative design aims to create cities and landscapes that give more back than we take out of it. People are not very good at, at creating a place on Earth that is sustaining themselves. So our environment, we are degrading our environment and put ourselves at risk. We can see that because of climate change and all kinds of hazards that are coming at us. Um, socially, we are starting fighting amongst each other. Um, and understanding how nature works, how nature does that, how nature recreates and regenerates its own environment in order to survive for the long term, I think we can learn a lot about that. One of the things that is happening at the moment is that not a lot of people are aware about the urgency we are in. So the majority of people just continue to live on. So they consume, they use cars, they put factories and everything. We just continue as if nothing is going on. Because maybe it's too scary. So one of the things that I think should happen is that we use regenerative principles to make people aware of the urgency that's going on. How bad climate change is actually getting, and it's getting worse in the, in the, in the upcoming decades. How, how threatening that is for people, for societies. So yes, regenerative design is essential to our life because regenerative design is also based in nature. It is based in the principles that nature will always find a way to be in balance between the environment, water, climate, shade, uh, energy, the whole system will turn back into balance and nature does that by itself. It regenerates by itself. So we can learn a lot from nature. And I always say, people are talking about artificial intelligence a lot. I think we should start talking about natural intelligence. Learning from what nature tells us.